Hello traders, this is Hugh. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do some of the uh, order and specific order entry techniques in Forex Tester 2. In a previous video, I showed you how to set everything up, how to set your tick size, how to generate ticks, um, stuff like that. But um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually do some trades so you can get started testing. Okay, let's get started. Um, first of all, let's look for a instance where we would want to buy or sell. So if you've been following or if you're using the pin bar technique, let's look for a pin bar that we could possibly trade. Um, this is one just as an example. So if you're going to do a market order, you can just click on this button here, um, choose your lot size. I'm just going to make this uh, like a 25 just as an example and then on this screen you can set your stop loss and it's pretty nice because it will graphically show you where the stop loss is and if you look on the right hand side you're gonna see the number of pips that your stop loss is at so in this case it's 17 pips so we're gonna click there and that's where the stop loss is set now if you want to set a take profit also you can um, do that graphically here and that might be a reasonable place to take profit so let's um, click there and set the take profit. You can always you can also set up a trailing stop. Um, I've never found trailing stops to be particularly useful, but if you want to do that, you can set that up on this screen. But uh, let's just do a regular um, straight up market order trade for now. Um, here you can change the buy and sell. Uh, in this case, we're going to do a buy. So you can set it here or you can set it here. Or you can click the buttons here, sorry. And then if you want to make a comment on this trade, so you can uh, maybe find it later. So let's say you export it to Excel and you want to figure out all the one type of trade that you were look or you're doing, you can uh, filter it by the comments. But otherwise you don't have to put that in. So we're gonna click on buy here and it'll show you where it bought. And as you click the space bar or you tap the space bar. You can go forward through the um, to the to the trades or through the bars, and if you look at the bottom here, if you click on the account history tab, you'll see the result of that trade. So in this case, we made 74 pips. Um, that's the interest or the swap that we received, and uh, that's the profit that we made. So it turned out to be a good trade. Um, a, good, a cool thing about this is if you press the delete button or the backspace button. Um, you can go back <clears throat> and uh, look at the trade again, or if you go all the way back, it'll erase the trade. And if you look at the open positions tab here, you will see how your trade is doing. So it will it will change <clears throat> according to what the trade is doing at the moment. So I'm um, pretty simple. <clears throat> so let's go through and look for another one. Okay, that could be a possible short right there. Um, so let's try a pending order instead. So for the pending order, you click on this P at the top and the same thing here. You can change the lot size and then this will give you the um, price that you want to enter at. So in this case, we want to sell, but maybe we don't want to sell right away. Let's sell below this uh, last candle here. So we'll click on that. That's the execution price. Um, so we want to sell stop in this case. Okay, so the, these are the different types of orders that you can enter. Um, if you don't know what they are, look them up. But in this case, we're going to do a sell stop. So we're going to set that at sell stop. Uh, we're going to set the stop loss above this candle here. And we're going to set the take profit, uh, let's say, down here. So uh, same thing. Again, you can place a trailing stop if you want to. And then we're going to click on place. And we're going to see how this order goes. So the order is executed, as we can see down here. And now we just want to see if it hits. OK, yeah, great. So now we go to the account history tab. And we can see, OK, yeah, this trade made about $100 and it was 38 pips. So cool. OK, so <clears throat> let's take a step back here. And let's say that you're in this trade right now. And you go to the open positions tab. And you want to you want to exit part of the trade. Let's say you want to take off maybe 10 lots. So you right click on the 
open positions uh, <coughs> excuse me on the position in the open positions tab then you go to close part of position or you can use the shortcut control f5 now you can close now let's close 10 lots okay so now that that will reduce your current account size i mean your current trade size to 15 and in the account history you'll see the profit of about twenty dollars and then now when you go through it'll it'll register the rest of that profit so that's pretty cool and it's uh you know just like real trading so the last thing i want to go through is the chart speed so from the last video you know that you can change the time frame here so this is the one hour chart um, but you can also change the speed at which the chart moves forward so let's click on shift and move the chart forward and that's pretty quick but let's say you want to slow that down a little bit so take the slider and you slide it to the left a little bit to slow it down and now when you click shift when you tap shift it'll be pretty slow and that's good if you want to simulate market conditions a little bit more um, another thing you can also do is you can set the tick size on this drop down so um, let's say that you want even though you, these are one hour bars, let's say you want the ticks to be five minutes. So uh, let's speed this up, otherwise it'll take too long. But now when we hit shift, you can see that the movements are smaller and each each one hour bar doesn't appear automatically. You, you can see it, it prints in five minute increments. So that could be useful if you're trying to fine tune an entry or make the, make the price action a little bit more realistic to what you're gonna see in the market. So uh, that's about all you need. Uh, that's how you enter an order. That's how you speed up your charts. So, you know, just pick a system now and just test it and see how it works. And um, hope this video was helpful. And thanks for watching.